Hi everyone, I'm Eric Womack, head tennis professional at Palmetto Dunes Resort. We're going to be talking right now about how to hit a more effective drop shot. The drop shot is really in the family of the volley. The motion is high to low with the strings open. Of course, I have a bouncing ball and I need that ball to fall a little bit shorter. One of the most common mistakes made with a drop shot, even with good technique, is that we don't put enough height on the ball and the ball does need to rise a little bit to allow it to fall short to the other side. So if I hit that ball a little bit low, what you'll notice is that that ball tends to travel a little bit more forward. And this ball is moving, while it's very short, it's moving toward the other side. What I'd like is to add a little bit of height to that ball so I can get it to fall shorter. Now the key to that is I need the ball to peak on this side of the net. But more importantly with the second bounce, or the first bounce rather, is where the second bounce is. And what you'll notice with these shots, that first bounce is tight to the net, but the second, third, and fourth bounce is also very close to the net. That forces your opponent to have to run much more forward with their racket down, and if they do get to it, they're going to produce a weak shot. So again, by contrast, if I go low to the net with this shot, while I can still hit the ball fairly short, it tends to go more forward. In fact, that ball right there makes it to the baseline, where a really good drop shot might sit and fall and never get to that backcourt. That's how you hit a better drop shot.